Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. Thank you for being part of this weather community. Several spots. Let's get right to it. Obviously, this this becoming Francine. This will become a hurricane. Work its way up toward Louisiana. I want to show you the modeling on that. What I'm seeing in the environment on this. Uh, plus, in the eastern Caribbean, how about uh, Grenada, St. Lucia? Just a couple of, of examples. Dominica. We had some rain and storms last night, and again this morning. Not really tropical in nature, but I'll get into the forecast on this. And then two strong tropical waves sitting out there in the Atlantic. So taking it around, here's what will become Francine. Cluster of rain and storms here in the uh, southwestern uh, sections of the Caribbean. We have this moving through. You see these uh, areas of rain and storms that we've had. Keep me posted in the comments. Uh, put your location and what you may be getting. And then these two spots out here, not so much this one, but these two may develop. And I believe the second one actually is a better chance of developing, not necessarily moving into the uh, Caribbean. My early feel on what I'm seeing with this is that this one would make more of a curl uh, to the uh, northwest and hopefully uh, miss us in the Caribbean. So we'll get into all of that. Let's get to here. This is bringing some flooding rain to already parts of coastal Mexico. So watching this for my friends in Mexico, extreme south Texas right here, and you can see this just really building. This white shading in here is telling me those cloud tops are really tall. So it is getting better organized right now. It will lift its way toward Louisiana. Just off, the uh, worst weather would be just off toward the uh, uh, east of the uh, Houston area. Of course, I monitor for any changes, but this is the most likely path that I kind of put together behind the scenes. Today, we'll be organizing tomorrow even stronger than late on Wednesday, a landfall up toward Louisiana. The biggest issue with this will be the rain. Unfortunately, there's been so much rain up in this area already, and this is just going to add to that a foot of rain possible as this moves in uh, late on Wednesday into early on Thursday. Looks like a landfall more and more likely right into Louisiana, the European and the American model right on track from what we talked about yesterday. And all of the models make this now a hurricane. The Icon German model, the American model, the European, the Canadian model all have this becoming a hurricane. Biggest threat will be the uh, just simply the water on top of the flooding we've already had. But yeah, this could uh, strengthen into a category one, potentially a category uh, two hurricane. And any change in the track, of course, I'll let you know. Here's that track from the National Hurricane Center. Very similar to what uh, I was just uh, showing you again, bringing this in with that landfall as we get back toward uh, uh, southern Louisiana, kind of the south central coastline of Louisiana once we work into later on Wednesday. So short time period, and yeah, I do expect strengthening, but you see all the models, very good agreement, keeping the center of this accord just to the east of Mexico, just to the east of uh, Tennessee, or Tennessee, Texas, and then rolling its way up toward Louisiana eventually. <clears throat> excuse me, Tennessee could get some rain as this eventually works up to the north. Now, as far as how strong it gets, again, it's easier to forecast a track. It is difficult to forecast the intensity. Most of the models, this is a, a day out, two days out, three days out. Uh, most of the models have this staying a tropical storm, but a few of them do bring it into a category one uh, strength hurricane. Can it rapidly intensify? Yeah, possibility. Uh, that's just something to kind of wait and see. I'm just glad that these are well advertised systems. We know this is coming toward Louisiana. So uh, of course, uh, making the preps and you see it here getting better organized but look at all this rain all the way off the east coast of the United States. The Bahamas, we had some flooding about a week ago back toward parts of Florida, stretching back toward Louisiana. So the fact that this is moving into that area, not great in Louisiana because of all of the uh, rain that we've already had. This is tomorrow. Tomorrow, I mentioned, it will get stronger and stronger tomorrow, at least better organized tomorrow, and then becoming a tropical storm, should be a tropical storm later today, and then becoming a hurricane, and then lifting in through the day on Wednesday. Through the day on Wednesday, of course, that rain will already be moving in, but the the actual landfall when the center moves in that looks to be late on Wednesday, Wednesday night and very early on Thursday. That's when the core of it would be. Here's a uh, Houston, the Galveston area on this track that would keep most of the action off to the east and then lift this up to the north. Some of the rain, Arkansas, parts of Mississippi and Alabama. And yeah, that tornado threat even stretching back toward the uh, panhandle of Florida with some of those uh, rain bands that will be working in with a landfalling tropical system. Always a risk of isolated tornadoes, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, back through the panhandle of Florida. Here it is getting uh, organized, starting to wrap up into that true tropical uh, system. Kilometers an hour and miles per hour, both on the uh, screen. The white shading, these are the gust of about 50 miles per hour, 80 kilometers an hour. That's where we are now. That's where we're going to be much of the day tomorrow, but then it's going to get even stronger late tomorrow 
and then you start to see some of these reds popping up. That's the core of it. So you see again, the worst weather offshore. Those would be some gust even up to about 90 miles per hour in that. So should be hurricane uh, strength. That's the way it's looking as of now. We'll see how that all shakes out. And then it should be a hurricane rolling right into Louisiana. Heaviest weather starts to work in later in the day tomorrow. The tropical storm force winds move in. And then that core of hurricane force winds, that kind of red and yellow shading you're seeing there, that would work in late Wednesday. So in particular, Wednesday night, uh, 9 p.m. to about uh, early on Thursday morning. That's when some of that worst weather would be. And then still some gusty winds stretching back toward Mobile, just kind of drawing in that moisture and watching out for that isolated uh, tornado threat with a landfalling system. So it looks like this one will become uh, Francine. That is the next name on the list. And that will make six named storms to start the season, all making landfall. I got to look back on when the last time we had that. Usually something forms well out there in the Atlantic, doesn't make landfall. The first five unfortunately did. So it's been a devastating season for some with the likes of uh, Beryl, uh, Debbie, Ernesto, uh, Francine, uh, the uh, next one that's moving in, Gordon, Helene, a couple of the next names on the list. Now let me widen out the view here. So I took care of this, watching that rain closer to Bermuda, the spotty showers and storms. I'll zoom down for us in the Caribbean. But these are the next two areas I'm watching. This is the American model, very similar to the European model. So don't want to waste your time. They're almost exactly the same at this point. Now the American model still kind of sees this one the uh, European is developing that second area back behind it. But just paying attention to the first one, you can see it here, not organizing much. Uh, and then I'll show you the models in a second, or at least the, the list of them. You see it here. This is going, let's go way out in time. This is by the end of the week. So keeping an eye on this area, uh, not showing any development out of that. Even if it does develop, uh, if it does develop, things that get better organized have a likelihood to kind of go more to the north, kind of go poleward. So even if it does develop, it should kind of get pulled a little bit more to the north. That would be some good news. So you see this spot right here by the time we get into the weekend. So long that stays north of us. We will be in good shape, but know that I am monitoring it uh, closely. If you're watching from Antigua, Barbuda, Anguilla, St. Kitts and Nevis, I'm watching that spot there. But then you see this other area uh, that uh, the American model is trying to develop and the European model is trying to develop that second area, uh, but keeping that one hopefully out to sea, but clearly getting busier out there in the open waters of the Atlantic. So this first spot will trek its way off to the west over the next few days, then should make a little bit of a curl. But even at this point, I'm not seeing a whole lot of development. You can see it here. Uh, most indications are this tropical wave will stay below tropical storm strength. Some of these crazy models here, those are not good models. The models are not all the same. Some do different things, handle different systems better. Some are better for snow. Some are better for hurricanes. Some are better for organized storms. Some are better for weaker storms. So that's the stuff. Um, that's my job to kind of know all that stuff behind the scenes. But I'll just keep an eye on that. It could be a little bit of strengthening. We'll monitor, though. Time to watch. But look at this spot here, the icon. American, European, and the Canadian all at this point do not even have this as a named storm. Now that area back behind it, yes, the models do start to develop. I'm hoping though that one also does uh, make that curve. So watching those spots out there in the Atlantic closely for the Caribbean. And speaking of which, watching out for these areas of rain and storms, you see that here, not really a tropical area, but Barbados, St. Lucia, Dominica, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Grenada. Yeah, the increased chance of rain and storms for us today, which we already had uh, last night. I'll cover that in the a forecast in a minute, but still some spotty short, uh, storms as we work our way into tomorrow. Scattered about across uh, parts of Central America. Hit or miss for us in Jamaica. Spotty shower storm in Haiti. And then going out on time, this is Wednesday. Hit or miss storms, but keeping an eye on that area. So throughout the week, if you're watching from the Caribbean, we have two strong tropical disturbances out there to the east, but know that I'll give you those updates as we go throughout the uh, week on that. Of course, the seas are going to be elevated. They have Campeche, Western Gulf. This is meters. This is feet. You'll see some red Red's popping up, which would be about five uh, meters, upwards of about 15 feet. You'll see that in a second. Obviously, dangerous conditions here in the western and northern Gulf of Mexico. Still a bit choppy to the north of the uh, Bahamas, but this here is by the time we get into Wednesday, as this system organizes either a strong tropical storm or a hurricane working its way right into Louisiana. This here by Thursday, watching out for some of the uh, higher seas, of course, northern uh, Gulf of Mexico, and then just to the northeast of the uh, Caribbean, this spot here, the seas are going to be 
picking up with that first tropical wave that will try to get closer. Northern stretches, the Atlantic region of Canada, we need to keep an eye on those areas that out, are out in the Atlantic because we know how that goes. They could be out to sea for some of us and then kind of get a little bit closer to the Atlantic region. So I'll just monitor that long term. Short term, Newfoundland getting skimmed by a few uh, showers and storms. Could see a couple showers possible in Nova Scotia. Not much in the way of storms, but could get a few downpours uh, here and there. And there's that uh, cooler air that has really uh, wrapped in. Now, a lot of us have been drier. And if you're drier, you're hotter. That's just how it goes this time of year. So getting a look at the totals, hit or miss, a lot of blues on the map, which means if you get a shower storm, 25 millimeters to an inch of rain possible. Here's Jamaica. We could get a passing shower. A little bit more Haiti and the Dominican Republic could get a few thunderstorms. And here it is. This is really for today. Some of the extra rain that we've been getting with that a moisture around. So we could see some spots. Guadalupe, Dominica, 75 millimeters of rain or three inches of rain all the way down through uh, Martinique, St. Lucia on the edge of Barbados, St. Vincent, the Grenadines. And we did already have some rain in Grenada. Trinidad, we could get a few showers and storms. But as I mentioned, it's still summer. So if we are dry, we're simply hotter this time of year. Some of us have really been baking. The heat has been on Suriname and, Guy uh, Suriname and Guyana because that rain chance has dropped off. Higher totals still possible. Watching Guatemala over toward El Salvador. Uh, western sections of uh, Honduras. Belize, we could get a scattered shower storm. But here's that rain that will be working into Louisiana. Eventually, these red shadings here off of my chart. We're talking about a foot of rain, a possibility of that could be a little bit more in some spots. That's what's going to move in with that enormous flood threat that I was talking about and watching out for high rain totals as well. Parts of Alabama as all of that action moves in. Uh, Mexico, most of the heaviest rain will be just off to the east, but still along our coast. We're going to look out for some flooding. Remember Alberto and Chris? That's exactly where this moved in. So this has been a very active uh, spot this uh, hurricane season. So Jamaica, we have about a 40% chance of a shower storm. Falmouth, Montego Bay, we may get one or two. Rain chance stays on the small side. Cayman Islands, which means we're going to be on the hot side. Passing shower storm, Trinidad and Tobago, really once we hit the afternoon and evening. But Barbados, it has been active. We've had showers and storms nearby. A 60% chance today. A 70% chance in St. Lucia. We've already had some showers and some thunderstorms in that 60% chance in Grenada. We had some thunderstorms nearby. A lot of us have been seeing some uh, lightning, may have seen that overnight. St. Vincent of the Grenadines, especially northern areas, about a 70% chance. Northern islands. Martinique, 70% chance today with that action and about a 60% chance in Dominica today and still about a 50% chance for tomorrow. Scattered showers and storms possible in Guadeloupe, 30 to 40% chance in Antigua and Barbuda, about a 50% chance today, St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat and a 40% chance for tomorrow. Rain chance about 30% today in Anguilla and a 40% chance for tomorrow. 30 to 40% chance the next three days, St. Martin, Seba, and Stacia. And watching out for some spotty showers and storms uh, in Puerto Rico. If you get one, we could get dumped on though because of that daytime heating. We could have some isolated flooding. Rain chance about 40% the next few days. U.S. and British Virgin Islands, Bahamas, northern uh, areas, uh, Freeport, New Providence, better chance of some of the rain. Not a really high rain chance in uh, the Turks and Caicos, uh, Dominican Republic, 40% chance in just an isolated storm possible in Haiti. But south side, we have a better chance by uh, Jock Mel of getting a uh, storm popping up. Belize, just some isolated showers and storms around 30% chance. Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire still mainly the dry weather with us as we go over the next several days, potentially uh, for quite a while. Guyana, rain chance 30 to 40% in Suriname, as I was mentioning, really hot and mainly the dry conditions. Isolated showers and storms possible right across Cuba. Rain chance stays elevated somewhat. Costa Rica, Panama, 60% chance. We expect that. About a 40% chance the next few days in Nicaragua. And looking at that 40% chance in Honduras, but western sections, that's where that chance is higher. 50% chance Guatemala and El Salvador. 50 to 60% chance of some scattered showers in Mexico City. And about a 40 uh, to 50% chance in the Yucatan. Again, the worst weather with what's about to become Francine is off to the wet, or re, yeah, off to the west of uh, Merida, northern Colombia, spotty shower storm, northern Venezuela, isolated 30% chance. And as we work our way into Bermuda, as expected, the rain chance will start to build as the week goes on. So, yeah, active pattern, many areas to watch. Francine headlining this, that'll move north in the Gulf of Mexico, bringing those hurricane conditions eventually to Louisiana. So, of course, uh, making those preps, and it has already been so, so wet in those areas. Couple spots out there in the Atlantic, about two to three spots 
spots to watch. And as of now, that's what I'm doing. Just watching those, seeing if they do spin up and uh, seeing if they'll kind of make that curve uh, to the north of the Caribbean. And that's what we'll track together as we go throughout the week. So thank you for being part of this channel just to get the right information out. I hope you have a good rest of your day.